Have you seen 
Você deve estar lá. So even now it's still active. Hmm? So we are going to be looking at a thing that's a believer. The thing is a believer. The believer's life in suffering. That's the thing we are going to look at. The believer's life in, in suffering. Who is the believer? It's you and I who are chosen to believe Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. It doesn't mean that a weapon may not be formed against you. Hallelujah. In Psalms 23, he says that though I walk through the shadow of the valley of darkness, I shall fear no evil. It did not mean that evil will not come. Hallelujah. It meant evil is there, but you shall not fear it. You shall stand boldly. That the weapons may be formed, but you shall stand and testify that they shall not prosper. Whom others have rejected. Hallelujah. As we look at the believer's life, we are going to go through the, 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 the scripture that our sister has read. What is the believer's position? Hmm? When we read the, the scripture we are going through, what is the position of the, the, the believer? Praise God.
And that money, you cannot get a loan because you don't have a mortgage. You don't have a security. But I want to thank God. He has been with me. He paid that money. Uh, you know? God brought a good Samaritan. I, I sometimes call him an angel. He, he, he gave us 70 million shillings. Cash. You see, not a relative, not a parent, not, but someone came and, you know, as God was able to feed Elijah from the ravenies, the very way God can do even to us. The Bible says in Psalms 91, 14 to 16, that because he has put his love upon me, that's why I will deliver him. When he will call upon me, I will hear him. Amen. And I will fill him with a long life. Hallelujah. So to us who love God, God hears us and he delivers us. I want you to be free. Taking the example of Joseph. Joseph suffered. And uh, scholars think that he was blessed around 40 to 30 years. From childhood he was doing righteousness before God. And he was suffering them all. A puzzle. What if Joseph accepted to sleep with Potiphar's wife? What would happen? Who can guess what would happen? 
What will happen if Joseph could sleep with Potiphar's wife? Would he go in the prison? He wouldn't go in the prison. Perhaps Potiphar would not even know about it. And they would be happy there, there. He would not go to the prison. But because he feared God, he refused to sleep with Potiphar's wife. And he was taken to prison. Glory to God that he was taken to prison. Because from there he meets people who connect him to Pharaoh. Hallelujah. In other words, do not complain to God whatever challenge you are facing. If you love God, all things are working for your good. And I thank God that is part one of the testimony. Part two of the testimony. I want to thank a God in boldy letters that by his mercy and his power I am now a lecturer in Makerere University. <laughs> Hallelujah. What no man can do, God can do. You saw me here serving God, but my life was not good. I was facing serious struggles financially and how to live. But nevertheless, I could not complain to God. For me, I was happy in my own way. When I left here, things were not easy for me. I faced real struggles. Things I, 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 I thought changed, they never worked as I thought because I had delayed to go. But I delayed here because I was mentoring some people thinking I was going away. By the time I reached, I reached late and opportunities were taken away. Then I said, I don't regret. I, I looked as if I had lost, but God was with me in all those. I remained strong and I stick on his word. In Kampala and in Makerere University, there are serious temptations. God when he can testify because he's also from Makerere, just like me, we studied together with him right from year one. By the way, I met Godwin in, in campus, Makerere University, year one. From that time, we've been friends till today. Hallelujah. That was 2017. So, I thank God for that. Yeah, so, members, I want you to know, there is God. Kakati now, here comes the puzzle. We to To my boys, eh? You are burying your future. A time will reach you. You will call upon God. The scripture in Psalms 91 says that because he has put his love upon me, that's why I will deliver him. And, it says, and when he will call upon me, I will hear and answer, I will come and I deliver him. I called upon the Lord, he heard me. Because I had put my love upon him. Amen. Please, I am requesting you. If you are following the way of the Lord, do not depart from it. If someone thinks you are foolish, let them think. For them, they are not wise. They are not wiser than God. Amen. I, people can talk, can say whatever they want to say. But I want you to remember that there is someone who is ahead of you. That is your God. He cannot forsake you. He will not forsake you. The people who abused me, by the way, some people abused me. They say, now who told you to resign in Bogenze Kusoma Masters? You know, and I never had money. No laptop, no smartphone. I only had two books. Life was not easy. But I knew I was not suffering because I had sinned. For my new my God knew everything about me. I have learned, mark this what I'm going to tell you. I have learned to become foolish. I'm repeating it. I have learned to become foolish. To let God be wise. That is the greatest lesson I have learned from my master's journey. You ask me, how are you going to do it? Even me, I don't you know. Just like Abraham, you would ask him, where are you going? I don't know. Because God told him, go where I will show you. He never told me that God is side. We act 
as if we are foolish, we let God to be wise. Now, I'm chinomba kutira nyo. If you are here, but even tell your friends, never, never, never copy exams. You rather fail. Never do anything which can make God hurt. Um, because what is it you coming here and say I thank God I passed and yet you coped you get the point so it is better you fail than to pass when you have cheated exams I remember in one of the papers in our masters I, failed, I thought I was going to get a retake I, at masters level below 6 city is a retake now I realized we had spotted the past papers and the setter changed the things. From the paper, I realized I was going to get around 14. And I, I realized that was a retake. Now, if I had a friend, she was the best. And she was very bright in this. You know, almost everyone was like, but for her, she was busy doing. So when she realized the vegan, she wanted to help me and again to eat the food now. So, that was one of the greatest temptations that I have ever gone through. It was a great test for me. I wanted to make it play.